Hey there, gardeners. Have you ever seen something wrong with your plants and felt unsure about what to do? Maybe you grabbed the bottle of a pesticide or an herbicide and just started spraying in the dark before you even knew what was wrong. Today, we're gonna to talk about our regenerative gardening principle number two. Use knowledge as power. Today, we're gonna to talk about some common garden problems and how to deal with them, utilizing local experts and free resources. So if you've ever had an issue that you didn't know how to deal with in the garden, this one is for you. In the past, I've met so many gardeners who saw damage and thought, I need to spray something. So they grab the first product they find, a pesticide, fungicide, herbicide, whatever it is, and start spraying. But here's the problem. They didn't stop to ask what was causing the problem. Was it a pest? Is it a fungal or bacterial infection? If it was a pest, is the pest even there anymore? Was it a watering issue or a nutrient problem that just looked like pest damage? This is what I call spraying in the dark, and it's one of the most harmful mistakes you can make in a garden. A better approach? Slow down, snap a photo, start with questions instead of chemicals. This is where integrated pest management, or IPM, comes in. IPM is a science-based, thoughtful approach that helps you avoid unnecessary spraying and protects beneficial insects. Two important steps in IPM are identifying the problem and learning about it. Is that caterpillar a pest? Or the larva of a beneficial butterfly? Is that mildew from overwatering? Or is it actually a bacterial issue that calls for a completely different care? When you take time to understand what's happening, you make better choices and avoid treating the wrong problem. Let's get practical. How do you figure out what's wrong with your plant? Most smartphones today have built-in ID tools or apps you can use, like iNaturalist. Take a clear photo or video of the pest or damage. Then, before taking action, get a second opinion. One of the best ways is to bring the pest, or the leaf or sample you're concerned about, to a local nursery. Just make sure it's sealed in a plastic bag so you don't accidentally spread disease or pests. Live samples are best, but photos or video can work in a pinch. And even if someone at the nursery identifies the problem, don't stop there take it a step further. If you live in Southern California, the UCIPM website is a fantastic resource. You can search for all sorts of pests and get science-backed solutions that work in our climate. If you're somewhere else, check your local university extension or agricultural department's website. Reliable local knowledge can save you time and protect your garden. To use knowledge as power, you have to be present. Gardening isn't just about fixing problems. It's about noticing before things go wrong. Try this. Spend five minutes a day walking your garden slowly. Look under leaves. Notice new growth. Write down one thing that surprises you. That habit alone can help you spot issues early and learn from what your garden is telling you. If there's one lesson to be learned from this video, it's this. Don't spray in the dark. Pause, observe, identify, learn about whatever it is that you're looking at, and then you can make a decision based on knowledge as to whether or not you need to take any action at all. Now, every gardener makes mistakes. That's a part of life. 
I've made plenty. But every time you learn from your mistakes, you become more empowered. So don't give up. If you've ever made a mistake in the garden because you rushed in too quickly, <laughs> share it in the comments so that we can learn from each other. In fact, uh, maybe I'll share one of my embarrassing mistakes in the comments below. <laughs> now, thanks for watching. Take good care of your gardens. And take good care of yourselves. Bye for now. I guess a lot of you didn't stick around to watch the end of the first video. <laughs> you see, I ate it. I ate the banana phone. But that's okay, because I have something even better now. I have a brand new piece of technology that I'm sure you've never heard of. It's called a cell phone. In fact, I've, I've got mine right here. Take a look. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> okay, look, I know it's not the same as the banana phone, but I ate it. I ate the banana phone. And you can't undo your past mistakes. You can only learn from them. Oh no! Ha <laughs> ha.